But here's the beauty of the blessing. The blessing can change character. That's why with all my boldness tonight, with all my heart tonight, I'm aware of the Father's desire in a way maybe I have not been before that God wants to release his blessing upon you. It don't matter if you're like a person of great faith like our father Abraham, where you obeyed God, maybe you left your family, maybe you left your country, maybe you left the city and you had to move to a place and you didn't even know where you were going but you stepped out in faith. Maybe you've done something like Abraham but maybe you have great faith like him but God wants you to know that his heart and desire and intention is to bless you and the blessing of the Lord is upon you. And Proverbs 10, 22, Solomon said, the blessing of the Lord makes rich. He was the wealthiest man that ever lived and it adds no sorrow with it. He knew something about this blessing intimately. And Abraham discovered this blessing. It gave him children. It gave him a destiny. It made him a father of many nations. It caused Abraham to have a legacy. And his name has become great. No question about it. Maybe you're Isaac. You've had great parents. You're, you're a child of maybe a patriarch, great father, great mother. They're great examples of faith to you. They're friends of God. They have a relationship with God. Maybe they can hear God and they can speak to you. And you're like, wow, the drop of a hat. You know, my parents, they walk with God. They've given me a great example. They've shown me what it means to have a relationship with God. Maybe you're privileged and benefited. You were raised by such an amazing family. And you're like an Isaac. Not everybody has that benefit. Maybe you do. It's a beautiful thing to have that heritage because you not only get to receive what God has for you, you get to receive the inheritance of your parents or your grandparents. Maybe you're an Isaac. Not like an Abraham where you had to leave countries and leave home. Maybe you're an Isaac because of your parents' faith. Because of the faith of someone else in your life, you get to reap the benefit of the blessing in a way you never did. But you learn to grow in that and even when your parents pass on, or those patriarchs that whoever they were, your grandparents pass on, you learn to stand up on faith like your father or your mother or your, or your patriarchs, whoever they were. You walk in that example of faith like Isaac did when he stayed in the land and he sowed and he reaped a hundredfold that year. And he got so blessed that they had to make a tree. All his enemies came to say, can you please make a covenant with us that you're not going to touch us anymore? You'd become wealthiest. A king came to him. The king said, you're bigger than me and my allies combined that was like becoming a king so maybe you're an Isaac you've had a great example the blessing of the Lord is God's will for your life Isaac's life his wife came to him everything began to come to him right where he was are you with me maybe you're Jacob maybe you are a trickster or have been maybe your life hasn't quite added up or represented who Jesus is or who God is right now in your life, don't give up. I want you to know tonight, the same Father wants to bless you. 